Were you homeless for I, for a period of time, or when you were using heroin? Were you yeah, always that's that's what's good about heroin with me and my story because I didn't choose. Heroin, heroin chose me to a, a, a sense. And in doing, I've always been hard headed and stubborn, and I don't care to die. I don't care about pain. Nothing really intimidates me. And I'm not no Billy badass. What makes me dangerous is I'm psychotic crazy from my upbringing, and that's a curse from my mother. And it's just, I, I've always been hard headed and stubborn, and, and I'll do things knowing it's the wrong thing to do, I'll still do it to be defiant. That's why I, I warn people, don't tell me not to do something because I'm going to do it. And they still don't listen. And I'm not intimidated by the people in the ties, anybody, my boss. I'm like, what are you going to do that hasn't already happened to me? And I've been through a lot. I've got scars all over my body from my upbringing. I got tattoos there. I'm just like a walking freak show. So what? A circus. So what are you gonna do that hasn't already happened? I'm not really intimidated by all that stuff. And look where I'm at now, I'm on Skid Row, you know? But I needed heroin and I needed to, that experience, because we all need our experience and we all need that thorough ass kicking, not physically, because anybody can take a physical ass kicking, it's a psychological one. And what heroin did for me, I've never gotten my ass kicked by nothing or no one in my life than that. You know, women can't even do that, what heroin did, because I was like a puppet. Heroin was my master. And I didn't do no robberies or nothing. I guess you could say I was too chicken shit. I just, I don't like stealing from people. Even though that's what took me to prison, selling a TV. But it was premeditated. I knew the guy wasn't there. But I don't feel that's life-threatening to steal from you so I can get loaded. I tried the panhandling thing, made a sign, and that was degrading. Because I go, how am I going to ask these people? For? I don't have no hustle. And I don't like to steal because I used to have to steal when I was a kid with my mom, boosting out of the stores. And a lot of times we got away with it, but for the most part it just wasn't right. So I, I was not really big on that stuff. So I eventually pushed a shopping cart in North Hollywood, all them streets. And in my head, I knew it was dirty, it was filthy, getting in the trash cans and everything, but I was working for it. And at the end of the day, I knew it was an honest living. I, didn't, I could go to sleep at night without having to look over my shoulder. I'm kind of... I can't explain it. I feel and absorb energy, and I use certain things that makes me really, really feel uncomfortable. I won't do it. So I just, I didn't feel good at pushing that shopping cart every day, and that was work, and I wanted to die, and I'd just be, what? When is this going to stop? And, and, it, and it got to the point where I accepted I was going to be a heroin addict because I could not get it out of my mind. The cravings, the obsession, no matter how many days I'd put together. It took 13 months in prison and, and Skid Row to wake me up and appreciate what I have today. And the truth be known, I don't have shit. I don't have a car, I don't have a wife, I don't... I'm just as messed up as I was a few years ago. But what makes the difference now is I'm appreciative to what I have. And that makes all the difference. With that, I'm gonna go a long ways. And with the dreams and hopes that I have of being a role model for these kids, and I'm just really eager. And I'm meeting people. God's putting people in my life. I always mention God because I know there is some type of God up there. I just don't know, understand his sense of humor. Sometimes in well, what goes on out here. And I just, I just keep meeting right people and. and I'm being led and directed into the, doing the right thing today, you know, and I know things are challenging living here. And I guess we always want to know what's going to happen, what's ahead for us, what's in store for us. I don't think that's what life is, because I got a lot of trust and issues, and I'm just going on the best hunch that things are going to go good as long as I keep doing what I'm doing. 
because like I stated before, this is do or die. I know if I go back to shooting drugs, it's over and 